Alrighty, welcome back, ladies and gents, and welcome to another new official on Come to Watch. We are now on Mission Force. So let's get this popping off with the briefing. Good evening, 47. The militia has released a hostage tape, outing the existence of Providence to the world. This was a fatal mistake, and our analysts are tracing its origin as we speak. In the meantime, we have a lead on Lucas Gray's top lieutenant. Turns out the Delgado cartel's counterfeiting unit was creating fake IDs for the militia, and one operative in particular stands out, Wazir Kale, an infamous South China sea pirate better known by his nom de guerre, the Maelstrom. The Maelstrom and his cutthroat band of outlaws were the scourge of the shipping industry in the post-recession years. But his reign of terror came to an end with the disastrous 2014 hijacking of the supertanker, Francis King. Chinese elite forces stormed the ship, resulting in the deaths of a dozen sailors and most of the Maelstrom's crew. But Kale slipped away unseen. The Maelstrom's connection to Grey is unknown, but we believe it was he who carried out the audacious killing of a Provident CEO in Shanghai, along with two reactivated members of his old pirate gang, Vanya Shaw, a shady figure in Mumbai's criminal underworld, and Darwood Rangan, the gang's old cashier turned dodgy movie producer. Shaw, Rangan, and the Maelstrom form Lucas Gray's Eastern Cell. They are a crack strike team, and stopping them is our client's most pressing concern. Unfortunately, the elusive Maelstrom appears to have vanished into the seedy underbelly of Mumbai, the cradle of his criminal legend, and no one knows his whereabouts or what he currently looks like. So, a bandit queen, a showbiz charlatan, and one certifiable ghost. I shall leave you to prepare. Oof, that sounds fun. Alright. I can kill these guys anywhere I want. Yup. Planning and got everything ready to go, so let's get this popping. Welcome to Mumbai, 47. One of the most densely populated cities in the world, home to more than 12 million people. If you wanted to disappear and hide from the world, this vast city is perfect. The maze-like sprawling slums offer secret paths and surprises around every corner. The elusive Maelstrom knows the city like the back of his own hand. Locating him will be a considerable challenge. A place to start could be the slums where his former gang, the Crows, has recently risen from the ashes. Darwood Rangan will be easy to find in his half-finished tower, wrapping up his new film called Mumbai Hero. While Vanya Shah has ensconced herself in the overgrown remains of an old train yard. Your three targets call this labyrinthine part of the city home, so choose your approach carefully. Why are you glowing? I don't even care. Oof, I'm looking snother. Anyway. Why are those glowing? Can I like shoot those for something or whatever? Right, in your wait. There is a blue thing. What's that blue thing? Where's the map? Map, 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 map. Where was the map? How do I get to the map? Remember how to access the map that it is. Who are these blue Oh objectives? Oh so that's how I found the maelstrom then. There he is. She's over there. yeah, there she is, right over there. 
Alright, time to get popping. That's the wrong button again, because I'm an idiot. That's still the wrong button. What do I want to do? Something that looks awesome. This one. Excuse me, you know who Gregory Arthur is, right? The famous American actor? Have you seen him around the city? No? Please tell him to come see me if you do. He's got a photo shoot inside the tower, and Mr. Rungan does not like to wait around. Gregory Arthur, a famous Broadway star, is apparently late for a photo shoot inside Rangan's unfinished tenement tower. Hang on, he uploaded a selfie on social media about half an hour ago. Hmm, the Mumbai food district. He's likely still there, 47. Got it, love. Thank you. 47. The street gang known as the Crows are on high alert. They seem to be on the lookout for potential assassins and will be suspicious of anyone they don't recognize. I suggest you are mindful around them in the slums. All right. Forty-seven. I'm picking up Gregory Arthur's cell phone signal. He's close by. <laughs> that outfit, though. What? What is that supposed to be? Oh damn it! Here comes the vomit train. I've got to find somewhere. Oh, oh, oh. Please find somewhere quick. There's a guy here. Alright, you ladies and gents, too many things kept going wrong with this bloody mission. Alright, uh, so we're gonna try. La, 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 la. Ooh, this one. I believe this is. Our intel suggests the Maelstrom is hiding somewhere in the city slums. I've marked the headquarters of the Crows on your map. You did? Where? No, I don't even care. Oh, that man can see me. Includes this defiant yet rebellious passage. This will control our resources and shape our future. Unchecked and unseen. Uh, you get all the way over there. Oh, oh, it's right there. Shopping district. Where am I supposed to get over there? Can I go up here? Hi there. How are you? I can. I can't. I can't. Wait. He's he's stupid. I'm going up here. Ah, forget it. <laughs> oh, I made a mistake. I made a mistake. I made a mistake. Maybe, actually, let me try something. No, I'm going to need a god disguise. Yeah, this is way too dangerous. Everyone the place like a 
Hmm. But I'm gonna try something anyway. Hello, my people. Yeah. Boop. Wait. I just heard something strange. Good for you. Walk over there and check it out. No, 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 no. How sweet, man. Turn around. Hey, what the hell are you doing here? You can't do that. Nothing. Come in. Hey, stop that shit immediately. Hands are good. Ah. Okay, easy now, tough guy. Keep your. Come on. Oh. What the hell? I'm right now. Yeah. You die. Do that. Someone's been. Nope. Nope. Bro, I know I can do this. I know I can do that. That's the wrong save I wanted. I wanted the other one. Come Something's going down over here. I'll be in touch. <laughs> hey, what are you waiting for, Yard? Check it out. Someone's trying to pull a fast one on me. Let me go catch this asshole, and I'll get back to you guys after. Double thumbs up, man. Awesome. I just heard something strange. I better go find out what it is. All right. Right. I 
orders. Boss told us to evacuate everyone and stick around until after the meeting. That's what we are doing. But you have to. Nobody talks to the boss. He left a message. When are you ready for us to give the signal? So, armed thugs belonging to the street gang known as the Crows have evacuated a hill in the slums of Mumbai. This could be worth investigating. Just tell the guys upstairs, Ben. They'll raise the flag and summon them. Summon here, love. Pick. Let me stop bringing those on missions. Why don't you search this house for clues? I need that bugger to move. A letter signed Wazir. This house once belonged to the Maelstrom 47. This confirms a connection between him and the woman living here now. He raised the flag, eh? I know we're supposed to raise the flag when this Neha lady tells us, but how is he going to see it from the slums? I don't know. He's the Maelstrom. He's got eyes everywhere, you know. <sighs> Sometimes I think he's just a myth. A legend we tell ourselves to have something to look up to. I mean, have you ever seen him? No, but I volunteered for this in case he did show up. But it would be quite the story to tell the others, right? Yeah, sure would be. Hmm. Right, we up. He's hoping nothing backfires, eh? Forty-seven. Someone's coming up the stairs leading to the secured area. It looks like a man. See if you can get close to him. You just put on a different outfit. Yep. You made it. Good. She, she's ready for you. 
Wonderful. Thank you. That is not the boss. That's the maelstrom. You found him. Uh, thank you, Neha. I have prepared something to drink out back. In the sun. Let's go out there. That sounds very nice. Am I supposed to kill them? You know that? It took me months to read them. I would certainly know that. Until I heard about this whole maelstrom business. It was all I could do. Also to protect you. Lay low. Break my name. Everything. He sailed the sea. Shall we drink then? To new beginnings. A wiping of the past and a chance to start again. It's a nice dream, I suppose. And a good day to you. Neha, a storm is brewing. It will hit us all soon. It will change everything in Mumbai as well as in the world. You said no more of this. I thought you were out. Please, understand. It's bigger than any of us, bigger than whatever emotions we may feel at this time. A major collapse is about to happen, but I can protect you. Protect me? Because I'm a weak, lonely woman and you're a big, strong pirate? Please, I managed. 20 years while you were away. You haven't changed at all. You can't let go. All the violence, the killing, the old ways, they are who you truly are. Wazir Kale is gone, and only the maelstrom is there now. It's not like that. Leave me. I... I need time. I can't do this. I see. Perhaps you are right. I hope not. I will call upon you again once all of this has died down. All right, everyone. You can go back to the hideout. We're done here. The infamous Maelstrom is dead. Very well done, 47. Let's finish this one. No rest for the wicked, however. On to the next one. That's what happens when you drown all the others, I guess. It appears Vanya Shah is in the market for a dress fit for a queen. She's sent after a local tailor, but for some reason the man refuses to cooperate. A man of your impeccable taste should be able to fill in perfectly for the tailor. He. <laughs> Thank you. 
are you hiding? <laughs> He's like, okay. <clears throat> That's it. I'm bringing a lock pick with me. From now on. How else am I going to get inside this building? You there, sir, please. One moment. You look like a discerning gentleman. We have the finest wares in here. Best okay. cloth. Oh, crap. What are you going to do? Listen, I, I have to go out for a while. If anyone asks for me, just tell them I'm not here. Close the door. Excellent. Let's find out what kind of dress a woman like Vanya Shah wants. God dang it. I know I could have done this so much better. Oh well. I still am going the wrong way. Shah wants a cerulean dress, 47. Perhaps you will be able to source a roll of the right fabric at the local cloth market. gonna happen what was this turn off fuse box greeting sir can I interest you in my fine wares cheap durable cloth in many special colors hey surprise your wife hey, Taylor. Yeah, 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 you. What do you think he's sniffing oh, around here for? Why am I so I don't trust him. Dopey. Hey, idiot, I'm talking to you. Son of a dog. Wait, you say son of a dog? I suppose the saying is better than saying the other one. Much of these. Ah, your back. Ah, my friend, you have chosen well. Now we have the best prices here. What do you say to 140 rupees per running meter? Does that sound fair? <laughs> no? Nothing? Ah, I can see you're a man of refined taste and a skilled handler. My kids will only eat rice tonight, but 
but it's yours for 105 rupees. Then. It's a deal, yes? Wow, those eyes are really burning into me. So, like you're just looking straight into my soul. Okay, final offer now. 90 rupees. 90 rupees per running meter. That's my own cost. I, I really can't go lower. Sir, you can go lower. <laughs> Still no. Your haggling skills are something else. I'll give you that much. The silence, it's, it's terribly unnerving, to be honest. It's like you're uh, just dead inside. Give it like to me a free, vast, love. Empty space where your emotions would normally reside. I can go no lower than 75 minutes. Really, take the offer. Please take the offer. No, no. Go lower, love. Come on. You Give know it what? My grandmother made these with her own hands. There's blood on the loom every night because she works so hard. Okay. The price is 100 rupees, so that's what I'm charging you. That serves you right for just standing there like a corpse. It's a deal. Ah, good, good. Nope. Don't take any of the bundles, please. Just one, though. Hey, surprise your wife with a new beautiful sari. We got sari textiles in all price range. Great. Thank you. Come again. So I should have one coin, correct? Correct. I didn't want to risk anything like that, but that was actually really funny. You just stand there. So he caves and then he doesn't cave. Oof, that's kind of sad. Well, maybe he would continue to cave, but I don't want to risk it. So anyway. Ah, it's you. Did you bring the cloth? Yes, I have it right here. About bloody time. Come with me. Oh, don't be alarmed, by the way. Miss Shah takes security very seriously, so the guards will search you. Not to worry. If you want to pass, you need to be frisked first. Is that a problem? Nope. I'm still holding something illegal. What is it? <sighs> what else am I holding that's illegal? Oh! Right. Uh, yeah, we're just going to drop that. What the? You drop. Didn't drop anything. Shut up. Crap. Nope. Hey, bud. Get that gun ready. Hold that position. We'll be done in no time. Okay. Now to to Hello. Go on ahead. Whoa. Me again. We're not done here yet. It's been Miss Shah has been dying to meet you. It's not wise to keep her waiting, you know. I won't disappoint her then. That is a good idea. She's not been happy with the other tailors. A word of warning. Just play along with her eccentricities. Hey, she can be room. rather I'm dangerous. Thank you. I'll do my best. Good man. Do well and there'll be a lot of money in it for you. I know. Honestly, I have... Ooh, I know I could do so much better. Just go through there. The queen is waiting for you in the car. But no, I had to screw up so many times, so well. Without water and power, we cannot manage. That is Vanya Shah, self-appointed queen of the Mumbai slums. Your husband is dead, is he not? Yes, he is. Two years now. And your children are already working elsewhere in the city. Yes, but you have nothing to offer me then, Mrs. Banerjee. I'm sorry, but water and power are precious assets here. I barely have enough for my own needs. You will have to make do with what you have. I understand. Thank you, my queen. Ah, the elusive dealer. Here at last. Let's hmm. have a look at the cloth you've chosen. I want to make sure the color is the right one. 
Yes. Of course. Here it is. Excellent. Finally, some progress here. Come with me. I want you to take my measurements while you're here. Smart work, 47. Shaw will want to have privacy when measuring for the dress. I'll leave the final execution up to you. <laughs> you don't belong here. Get lost. Next time I see you hanging around where you're not supposed to, put a bullet in the head. Understand? You there. Leave us. I want some privacy. Let's start the measuring right away. If you didn't bring a tape, I'm pretty certain you'll hear the tape is left there's behind. You can use that. Why are you here? Why are you... Why is... She... Why are you there? Le leave the... Well, what are you waiting for? Get on with it. I would, but she's here. <sighs> Relax your back, please, Miss Sharp. I'll just measure your arms now, Miss Shah. Turn around, please, Miss Shah. I need to measure shoulder to shoulder. You've probably heard about the other dealers. How some of them ended up in the gutters because they didn't please me. This dress is important to me. Well, not the dress itself, but what it represents. You see, there are those out there who do not want to be driven to their core. People who think the value of their lives can be measured in money. It started with one man, but these things spread like footballs in the water. Should so I risk it? Another, then a third. Tributes to your queen keep you alive, not money. Eventually, I will find a craftsman who understands the true value. Life. Is that Risk man? Risking. Don't see me. Not Confirmed kill out. on Vanya Shaw. Excellent work, 47. Just one target left. Let's bring this one home. Why was she here? I was supposed to have privacy, was it not? Stupid. Lynn as a servant. Why would she even have a bed like that? Who thought that was risky, wasn't it? I suppose I could have stabbed her with these, but whatever. Well. Right, so now I need Darwood Rangan. Um, so I need to do. That one I couldn't do. Let's try this one, I suppose. I miss homemade in school. Measure twice, cut once, right? Ah, you made it out alive. I was getting ready to dispose of another dead body. <laughs> oh, I really hope Queen Shah grants me an audience today. Get out my door.
What am I supposed? Yeah, fine. Up we go. Yeah, up we go. Ooh. Oh, wow. Hello. It appears we have a rival assassin in Mumbai, and he's training his sights on Darwood Rangan. By the looks of it, I'd say we're dealing with a local operator known as the Kashmirian. A local hitman known as the Kashmirian is in Mumbai on business. He set up a sniper nest in a tower above a stairwell in the local Chool. It appears he's targeting the luxury apartment belonging to Darwood Rangan, but has encountered a problem. Perhaps you can assist him. Um, so do I? Damn broken viewfinder. If I can't adjust the Good scope, thinking, right, 47. Never make the shot. Now, if we could only make Rangan appear in that window somehow. Oh, so I'm Karen Dahl, to... a.k.a. the Kashmirian, was born in the U.S., but fled to his mother's native land, India, 20 years ago, following an FBI investigation into a string of serial killings in Texas. He adopted a new identity here, and now works as a gun for hire for local mobsters. But who would want Rangan dead? Who cares? We didn't make it happen, love. Need to check out the guard that's by him. So, okay, I thought he was coming this way. Crap, crap, crap. I don't know where to go. What do I do? Who do I do it to? Got his outfits. She doesn't come back. This should work. I have planned. Let's talk about this. <laughs> well, that wasn't the plan, but it worked.
go upstairs. How do I go upstairs? Climb the pipe. That might work. The, the the elevator shaft itself is a hostile area for some reason. When are you gonna be done mixing those colors? I mean, how long can it take to smudge out a few blues and reds? I'm creating art here. Seventy percent of the work is finding the right colors. Color mixing is an entire art form on its own. It takes time. Yeah, well, get a move on. Mr. Rongan wants you to go and get him as soon as you're done mixing your fancy colors there. You got it? Fine. If I don't finish it, Rongan will kill me. If I... I do, the artistic community will be dead to me. Upstairs and wait for Mr. Rangan. I'm sure he'll be there shortly. It's me. Just to let you know that the house artist is ready to continue waiting. Ah, Mr. Hossein, ready at last. Did you get a shave? Oh, well, never mind. Come with me to the lounge. After you, Mr. Rangan. That is Darwood Rangan, producer of mediocre movies and a full time criminal. His brutality is overshadowed only by his giant ego. <laughs> use of colors and form. Kya baat hai? If the new piece catches my forceful nature like this, I will have nothing short of a masterpiece on my hands. I'll be the envy of everyone. I guarantee a perfect execution, Mr. Right. Ryan. Hello. All right. Chala, let's get this done with. I expect these to be the final brush strokes, Mr. Hussain. I'm a busy All right, 47. You know, Let's see if the aim of our Kashmirian friend is true. Because once the word gets out and my art appreciating friends see it, your phone will be ringing off the hook. I can't wait. Hold your breath for a moment, Mr. Rangan. That's the reason I told you I wouldn't pay for the commission, by the way. I'm not stingy, no, no, not at all. But if I'm already paying you in exposure, well, let's not. Overdo it, you know. I prefer cash over exposure. Clench your fist, please. <laughs> Who doesn't? But sometimes exposure can be worth more than just money. Because in this case, it's the gift that keeps on giving. Just wait and see. When you're done with this job, the contracts will be rolling in. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Rangan. Can you look up a bit? Thank you. That shot came from the Chawls. It looks like the Kashmirian finally got a clear line of fire. Darwood Rangan is dead, and not even by your hand, 47. What will you think of next? Mission completed. Time to find an exit. Oh, right. I probably should have hit the body in the cabinet, shouldn't I? Um, okay. I'm just complete mental on this mission, aren't I? Oh, I hate this desperate. <laughs> 
64. This one's closer. Coin. I'm pretty sure that's how you get out of there if you have a coin with that one. I just got a rare achievement. What? Does nobody complete this mission? Why is that rare? Homeless tent shoe shop. I got a shotgun. Ooh, hello. I got a gorgeous new pistol. I unlocked so much stuff. According to records, this was a youth correctional facility until 1962. When the estate was overtaken by an obscure Soviet research fund, the Institute for Human Betterment. Looks deserted. The place was abandoned after a fire in 89. Then, only a few weeks ago, it was acquired by an anonymous investor using cryptocurrency. It has to be Lucas Gray. He's here. Be careful, 47. The breadcrumbs were almost too easy to follow. It could be a trap. Not a trap. An invitation. <laughs> you came home. I knew you would. You've come a long way, 47. And even now, you don't remember. This place. This was our prison, where Father trained us, shaped us into killers for Providence. Now, you don't remember. They ripped it out of you, wiped it away, but I do. I remember everything. You're a terrorist with nothing to lose. You'd say anything. I know it's difficult. You never miss your mark or question your function, but we made a pact, you and I. Do this. We both lose. There was an incident. That boy, he died. He lived. Because of you. Don't you remember his name? You know this. Deep down, you know. What was his name? Subject 6. Your name is Subject 6. And what is our purpose? To take them all down. Ooh, goosebumps! Oh, I love it. Ooh, this is getting so awesome! Anyway, I'm gonna end this here. I thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm level 21. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. And I shall see you all in the next one. Peace.